Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another comic book review. This time we're going to take a look at some DC books. Um, primarily, I want to talk about Batman Black and White, uh, which has come back out, which is very, very cool. So we've got two issues that are out. Um, also, I want to briefly talk about Forever Evil really, really quick. Now, this is issue two of the series. It's the new DC everybody gets a story arc kind of thing where the crime Senate comes in and they end up battling essentially all the bad guys from the DC universe. And, I mean, it's the typical crime scene comes in, oh my gosh, they're big and bad and awesome. Uh, there's not enough crime syndicate, not enough of the actual villains uh, for me. This just is, It's lackluster to me. It's unfortunate. Um, to be honest, I think the Crisis on Two Worlds animated movie was a better crime syndicate story than this one, uh, which is very unfortunate. Now, we do get a reboot of Bizarro in this, um, version, and we have a great scene at the end with Luther and Bizarro, uh, looking all kinds of cool, uh, definitely digging that, um, and I like, probably my favorite bit in the whole thing, two favorite bits, Luther says this, it looks like a job for Lex Luthor, and then, uh, Bizarro goes in to put the shirt on, but he's putting it on backwards. He's like, creature, you're putting it in inside out. And he goes, I don't have time for this, uh, which is kind of funny. So it, it's so convoluted and it's all over the place. I may wait for the trade paperback. I picked this one up. Um, I just couldn't get into the story, unfortunately, which is it, kind of sad because I really do like the concept. But much like the whole Black Lantern saga, it just fell short for me. So I, I don't know. What do you guys think of it? Um, are you liking it? Are you not liking it? I'm just... I'll wait for a trade, I think. Uh, personally, I prefer the Batman Black and White. Uh, so issues one and two right here. Doo, doo, doo. Um, cool covers on the back as well. Very neat, very cool. Now, the Black and White series. This is not a reprint of the original one. I think it was from the 90s. Uh... The 90s or the early aughts, uh, I can't really recall. Uh, but it's basically, we've got some awesome artwork here at the beginning. Um, it's basically an anthology of short stories for Batman in black and white. Different art styles, different writers, and I love that. I love an anthology. I like short stories. Uh, they fit Batman very, very well. This is probably one of my favorite stories in the book where he's got the Batmobile as he's trying to fix it and work on it, and he's going through talking about how he's got to replace this and that and the other and how expensive it is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And by the end, Alfred's like, so you're not going to tell me what happened to the Fender? He's like, well, you know, how it is kind of thing. And he couldn't find a reason to work on the Batmobile, so he picked up a uh, monkey wrench and broke it just so he could work on his car, which was kind of cool. Uh, I enjoyed that. I thought that was a very clever little story. And there's lots of other ones throughout the whole thing. Um, the Scarface story in this one is really good. I really did enjoy it. The Joker story was interesting. We find out it's Alfred as the Joker, and they're just catching a, a little Lily criminal setting up traps. Uh, the Poison Ivy one was kind of so-so. Love the cover to it. I think it's just phenomenal, especially around Halloween. Uh, the second issue, pretty decent. I really did like the stories in this, all except for the first story involves the Man Bat, which the artwork's good, and the premise is okay. It's just there's a point in it where it's Batman. He's the world's greatest detective. Why didn't he figure a particular thing out that's pretty obvious from the onset? That was disappointing to me. The rest of them are really, really good. Uh, I'm sorry, the Joker story was in the uh, second one, not the first one. Um, was really nice. The Scarecrow story in this one is really, really good. Uh, here we get a, a scene there. He's trying to make Batman think like he's dead, uh, which is kind of interesting. The Mr. Freeze one was kind of so-so. I didn't particularly care for that one. Uh, and then at the end, there is a really nice one that's kind of set up like an old movie serial um, with uh, the Fleischman style inspired artwork. And um, it's basically... What if Batman didn't take to being a good guy? Um, the Silent Knight. So Nahamas has a little Christmas kind of thing, and we get this character called the Silent Knight. And he essentially, same origin as Batman, except he decided, 
hey, I'm jealous of all these other kids. I'm going to kill their parents too. Make them just like me. Um, you know, and he tells Batman that, you know, you wouldn't understand. You didn't watch your parents die kind of thing. So very cool mirror opposite type of characters. So really dig it. Um, waiting for the next uh, couple issues. Uh, definitely worth it. So if you're going to uh, pick up a DC book uh, anytime soon, I would recommend getting the Batman Black and White over the Forever Evil. Much better writing, um, just better artwork, I think. And it's black and white, and it's just cool as hell. So there it is. Thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future.